Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In case you're new here, my name is Kim. This is Core Union. I want to give you guys a little pick me up for the day. I just wanted to remind you guys that from my perspective, if you are feeling this undying, beautiful, deep love for your person, and it's in your core, it's deep down in your soul, you are feeling that because they are your person and that they feel it too. But if you refuse to believe that, and if you're staying in this state of, they said this, they said that, this happened, I did this, whatever the case is, if there's a lot of blame, if you're holding on to frustration and anger because of what was said, if you are afraid to allow yourself to feel safe and to love them, then you are keeping a wall up. But that is the only reason why you guys are separated. Before I get into this, please do like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you love my content. And if you want help manifesting your specific person, person back, feel free to email me at kim at coreunion.com. Okay. When you start to learn about manifesting, but you are just watching video after video after video, and you hear catchphrases like circumstances don't matter, everyone is you pushed out, persist, and it's all very superficial, and it's all just kind of in your head, so you're kind of using logic and then you kind of say a few affirmations. And then when you're done saying affirmations, you're saying it in this way, like, oh, I hope this works. I hope this works. I hope this works. This has to work. And you're coming from that state of your self-concept of really not being in trust. And your energy is very desperate. And your self-concept is the version of you that is in complete lack. You do these little affirmations or whatever, but you don't actually know while you're doing it, that what you're actually doing is just reminding yourself of who you actually are. And a lot of you guys are kind of stuck on this thing of believing because you don't believe it. What will happen is the more you basically tell yourself the truth over and over and over again, dominantly, you will start to naturally feel like the version of you that is in the stable, secure, and happy relationship with the version of your person who is confident and secure. If you are constantly afraid of the relationship with them and afraid of them because you're afraid you're going to get hurt because it was so intense when you fell in love with them and that brought up your wounds, then they are most likely mirroring that back to you too. When you go into the state of feeling really good, you're doing your inner work and you're in the state of bliss and in love, they are feeling it too, instantly in that moment. But then if you come out of that and now you're living your life and you're constantly in this wondering if it's working, watching different videos, noticing it's not working, complaining that it's not working, commenting that it's not working, uh, venting to family and friends and continually bringing up the old story over and over and over again. I believe Neville said that something along the lines of you are just reinfecting yourself. And that is true. It's like you're just undoing all of your work. And I know a lot of you guys get frustrated because you just aren't quite shifted yet and you're not getting it. And I do urge you guys to go into trust. I say it in all of my videos for a reason. Trust, think of trust as being half of the inner work. So if you guys are going for month to month, year to year, and you're not seeing any results, but you're constantly wondering if it's working, noticing it's not working and getting frustrated, you are actually not doing half of the work. You are basically undoing the work that you are doing. You're just battling yourself. You are made up of billions of atoms. This is just a fact. This isn't like woo-woo talking. This, is, this isn't like maybe it's true or it's just a theory. You are made up of billions of atoms. So am I. So are your pets. All Every single person in your reality that you know, every single thing all around you, it is all billions of atoms. We perceive things from this perspective and it's our observance of it that solidifies the atoms into something solid, something that is matter in our reality. 
your constant and dominant observance of something collapses the atoms into solidified form in your reality. So if you imagine that, just imagine that only 10 possibilities exist, even though infinite possibilities exist. Imagine that it's only 10. So imagine 10 other bubbles. And in each bubble, there's a version of you in a relationship with your specific person, with a certain health status, with a certain career status, with a certain type of relationship with your person and other people in your reality. And you can just keep going on and on and on. But in all of these little bubbles, there are different versions and all of them are slightly different. Like maybe there's one where you and your person are together, but you're still fighting. You still don't get each other. Maybe there's another where you're with someone else and they're with someone else. Maybe there's another where the two of you guys are happier than ever. You're living in your dream, dream home. You guys are both in perfect health and you guys are making a wonderful living together and you enjoy your life. That, that would be the best case, right? So just focus dominantly on that and allow yourself to retreat back into your safety of your inner bubble over and over and over again and really enjoy doing the inner work. Have fun doing the inner work. Don't put that strain on it. Don't put that doubt full energy, that lack energy into it. Because as soon as you do that, then you are shifting into that reality. It doesn't matter. You don't have to freak out because it actually doesn't matter if for the past year, if you've been trying to manifest back your specific person and you are realizing, oh, I've been in lack and in fear all this time, it doesn't matter. You can literally shift instantly. You can shift instantly and literally find yourself in the unfolding of the reality that you want to be in with your specific person, the loving, healthy, steady, stable, and secure version of you and version of them with a really wonderful relationship, the kind of relationship with the two of you guys grow old together. But if you're constantly coming at this from this other place of, oh, I don't get this, I don't understand this, this isn't working, I don't trust this, I don't trust God, Really, it is all about trust. From my perspective, it is the most important thing. So if you can just start today as if you're starting for the first day today, if you are in a lot of resistance, you don't need to do this if you understand this. If you get this, you don't need to do this. But if you are in a lot of resistance, literally start, make the decision today. You are dropping all memories of all circumstances of everything that was said, everything that was done. It doesn't matter. And all the time, you're even dropping that. And you're starting from a clean slate as of right now. And you're going to make the decision that from now on, you are actually going to make it a point to yourself, for yourself, to trust, to trust the process, trust that manifesting is true and it's real, and surrender and know that Every single thing that you want, every single thing that you feel, the future that you want to have with your specific person is everything that they want to. And let your walls down. Let go of doubt. Let go of the fear. For me, I needed to focus on trusting that it was safe to be vulnerable, that it was safe to love and to be loved, that I wasn't going to be abandoned or rejected anymore, that relationships are healthy and it's safe to allow myself to let go. That needed to be my focus. I knew my fears were not my person, my partner. He was mirroring it back to me, yes, but I knew this isn't actually how he feels or what he wants. I knew that the end existed where we were completely vulnerable with each other, where we felt safe with each other, where we were confident in our love for each other. And I didn't continue to fight against myself or God with it. Okay, so this is not for the faint of heart. 
I'm not going to be one of those YouTubers that says, oh, this is super easy. Like you can just like do this. And tonight he's going to be at your doorstep. Is it possible that you could shift and that tonight your person could be at your house? Yes, of course it's possible. But what happens is you guys like, oh, that's possible. So then you focus on that. And then if it doesn't actually solidify in your 3D, you think, oh, I'm not doing this right. I'm not good at manifesting. None of this is true. It didn't happen. And you get disappointed. How I would look at things like that is this. When I think about that, I just think that that would be like if it were me and if I thought about that, for example, if I was in separation and I wanted to imagine that my partner, Hannah, was at my door. I would just imagine it and joy thinking of him as being somebody who would do that, not putting that kind of pressure on myself that if it didn't happen, I was disappointed. You don't get disappointed. You enjoy predominantly or dominantly. Sorry, you want to enjoy being in the end of being together and realize that all time is existing now. So you're coming at everything from feeling it and knowing that it's all happening now. So when you imagine it and you visualize it, it's happening now. That doesn't mean literally happening in the 3D in this moment. That means that when you understand that on a subatomic level, it is happening now and you just trust in that. And as you're creating and you're seeing the two of you guys being really romantic and passionate and happy together with this super deep love that, for example, I had somebody who was disappointed because they were imagining that their person was at the airport waiting for them. They were taking a flight to basically where their person lived. And they kept imagining and visualizing for weeks that when they landed the plane, their person was going to be there with the sign, I love you. I love you so much. Marry me. So that felt really good when they were imagining it. When the day came, when they took the flight and they got out of the plane, the person wasn't there and they got so upset and they were so spiraled down. And then they called their person and they said all these things and they were triggered and they were spiraled and they put all the stuff on the person and then boom. <laughs> It didn't go over well in the 3D. It was very manipulative. It was very demanding. It was coming from a place of a lot of anger. Instead, if that had been me, just enjoy that you're seeing your person as being somebody who would be super loving and romantic with you like that. And then if it doesn't happen in the 3D, who cares? Imagine that it did happen. Imagine how I would, if it were me and I had done something like that, I would have been getting off the plane. And as I'm walking through the getting my luggage, I would imagine that my person was right there with the sign saying, I love you, baby. I love you too. Giving me a hug. We were making out, maybe not making out in public because that's kind of nasty. And then I was getting my luggage and they we were holding hands in the car and going wherever. That's what I would have done. I would not have been disappointed. Can you, I hope that you guys get this. So I just wanted to talk really quick about, you know, the Newtonian, uh, excuse me, the Newtonian cradle. It's that toy. And I'm going to, I hope I can say this without laughing. So the Newtonian cradle are when you see those silver kinetic balls and they, um, sorry, it's basically an experiment in seeing how cause and effect works, right? With energy. So you pull you pull one of the balls this way and then they swing and they come here and then they stay still for a second. And then the other ball goes here and then they hit and they go here. And eventually they all just settle down for you guys that are in the collective, that you're back in contact with your person, your person came back. I have clients that after just a few weeks, sometimes four, sometimes anywhere, three to six weeks, maybe eventually their specific person just reaches out out of nowhere or they get in a place of trust and faith and they're not afraid. And then they reach out to them, whatever the case is. But anyway, they are back in contact with their specific person. The communication is increasing. All of the things that they want is uh, they're all starting to unfold. Right. But what happens is sometimes there are things that are said and done that then trigger them. And then they spiral down again. And sometimes this is the point where you really want to, like, it really sucks, but you have to like, just go right back in faith, shut down the 3D and don't worry, wipe the slate clean of anything and everything that was said that doesn't, that's not in alignment with the two of you guys being happy together. But if you imagine that as like, 
when you are in a lot of fear and you collide, meaning you're now back together with your specific person, but you're still in fear, that is going to send your person swinging in this direction away from you. So right now, a lot of you guys in here are in this phase, right? Because you're not seeing necessarily, but then your person always comes back, boom. And then if you start to work on your fear and you're fearing less, the swing is going to be less. And then when you come back, the swing is going to be less and less and less and less until eventually the two of you guys are still and you're together. You're, you're happy together. You are relaxed. You're stable. You're secure. You're balanced. What's happening with the Newtonian cradle, basically, is that as the balls collide, the energy is getting absorbed by the air, by the sound when they collide, the energy of air, the energy of sound, and the energy of heat. So that those elements are absorbing the force that eventually allows the rest, that they're just still. So with cause and effect, if you are taking responsibility, full responsibility, not in a way that you're blaming yourself, but really understanding that you are responsible for being at peace and feeling safe and secure, knowing that when you are at peace, stable, grounded, and secure and confident about the love, then so will your person be. But in the 3D, you might go through a little bit of this period where the two of you guys are colliding in each other and pushing each other away out of fear. You went from here and then slowly you guys are coming back together, but there's still some triggering happening. It's okay. But as long as the spaces in between are getting less and less that you're not spiraled down as long, that you're really getting right back up, dusting yourself off and saying, no, I don't believe this. I know the love that we have and I trust in the love. So it doesn't matter what's being said and done. And when you do that with the love, all of that energy of the fear is dissipated. It's dissipated. So then you stop this push and pull thing that's happening and you just end up still together. I hope that that analogy helped. I love you guys so much. Again, if you want coaching to help manifest your specific person back, feel free to email me at Kim at Please comment down below that you understand this and you are promising yourself that you are going to stay in trust, faith, and surrender, that you know that it's done. The two of you guys are meant for each other. The two of you guys are loving each other and that you are together. I love you guys so much. Have an amazing day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Nothing can come, nothing can come, nothing can come between us.